All right, y'all, welcome back to the channel and to some more predator patterning. And we've got a pretty highly requested setup out here today to test. And it's definitely one that I at least hope to find the answer to because I'm definitely curious to see what is actually gonna work and not work with this setup. So for the load I've got out here today, I brought out some more of the Hornady Heavy Magnum Coyote shells. These are a three inch, one and a half ounce load of lead nickel plated BB shot moving about 13 1500 feet per second and these are definitely a shell that has shown some very promising performances in the past for us so we're going to find out today what it actually likes and doesn't like because we're going to do another what choke is best for type of episode here to hopefully find out if the box is correct here and saying that it does best through an improved cylinder or modified choke but we're going to test the full lineup and see what works and what doesn't work with these shells and as for the setup i've got out here today to test them with i brought out the remington 1187 and and right at the moment, I have a cylinder bore choke in the gun. So as for chokes, we have a cylinder bore, an improved cylinder, a modified, and a full choke to test and see what works and what doesn't work with these shells. The box claims improved cylinder or modified, but is that really true or not? Since these loads do have the Versatite wad, which is essentially the exact same thing as a Federal Flight Control wad. So as for our test today, I have the big piece of target paper set up at 40 yards. I also have the chronograph, so we'll be able to see our our speeds and kind of get our average as to what these shells are moving we'll shoot a pattern with each of the four chokes at that 40 yard distance and we'll take a look and see how they all look back to back and kind of get an idea of what looks good and what doesn't look quite as good and if i had to guess now i'm thinking modified or maybe full choke might be the best but we got to test it and find out first but let's get you guys set up with a view of this chronograph and we'll edit together all four shots through there real quick and then we'll go down range and see how they all actually performed back to back. So let's head up here and shoot these four rounds through these four different chokes and see what these Hornady Magnum Coyote shells perform best through. Okay, so let's take a look at our chronograph numbers here real quick. We did have one error of some description on the very first shot. It only showed 870 or something like that. So I just deleted that shot and that left us with three, which is still plenty good enough to get kind of our average here. The box is claiming 1300 and we did not see that. We were definitely down in the 1200s, but let's see what the numbers actually did give us. So for a high, we had 1281. For a low, we had 1203. And that gave us an average of 1231. So that's 69 feet per second under the box claim. And if we're using a 28 inch field barrel on that gun, there's not a whole lot that's gonna give us better velocity than that. So I just think we're a little bit under their claim, but definitely nothing that I'd be too concerned about. A one and a half ounce load of lead BB flying at 1231 ish feet per second is still gonna be plenty devastating on any kind of fox or coyote or anything like that that you're gonna wanna use it for. So I wouldn't say there's anything too out of the ordinary as far as chronograph goes. All right, so now let's take a look at our patterns here. And first up is our cylinder bore choke at 40 yards, of course. And this is what it gave us here. Now, overall, not too bad, I would say, for a cylinder bore. It would absolutely take a coyote or a fox or anything like that. Now, as for the numbers here, that circle you see drawn around the middle of my point of aim there, that is a 10-inch circle, which gave us 11 pellets in there, which would absolutely be enough to do the job on any kind of predator or anything like that that you would be using this load for so overall here not too bad of a start for a cylinder bore choke so let's move on over to our improved cylinder choke and see how that one's going to look all right so now we're looking at our improved cylinder choke group here and it's kind of interesting i guess now i think we have maybe a few more pellets on the actual whole entire paper however we do see less pellets in our 10 inch circle here in the middle our cylinder had 11 and our improved cylinder has nine pellets in there and even though we do see what i think is more pellets on the actual paper there are a few larger gaps and void areas in here still absolutely good enough to take a coyote or a fox with i'd say but not quite the improvement that i was expecting to see so with that being said what kind of group did our modified choke throw down here let's move over and take a look at that and see if we actually saw any improvement or not 
All right, so now let's look at our modified choke here. And this is, once again, pretty interesting and not exactly what I expected to see. Overall, it looks like we might have a tighter pattern in general, meaning that the pellets we have on our paper here are more condensed. But what we do see, or don't see rather, is more pellets in our 10 inch core area there. It gave us eight and one or two of those pellets are right on that 10 inch circle edge. So I don't know. In this particular shot, we did see what looks like a more overall condensed pattern, but we have less in our core area. So I really don't know. On one hand, I think we're getting better with the overall size of the pattern. However, on the other hand, the numbers are clearly getting a little bit worse as far as our core area goes. But I suppose let's move over to our full choke pattern and see what the full choke was able to do for us. All right, so let's look at our full choke group now and see what that one gave us. And once again, not exactly what I was expecting to see, I guess. We might have been just a touch right on that, but the overall pattern looks pretty much center. Now our core area here in that 10 inch circle gave us seven pellets, which if you're going by the numbers, that's the worst. So after seeing this, I really don't know. If you're going by the numbers alone, based on these four shots, the cylinder bore choke was the best as far as pattern goes. But just looking at it objectively here, at all four of them kind of side by side, I would say that probably the modified choke was my favorite or my preferred one anyway. None of these are what I would call terrible. They would all absolutely do the job. If you had a fixed full choke gun or a fixed modified choke gun or whatever, you could absolutely use this load and get the job done, I'd say. But I guess that the cylinder board was the best by the numbers for this test and the modified was probably my favorite as far as overall pattern is concerned. So I guess on one hand, the box is correct in saying that an improved cylinder or modified choke is probably gonna do you the best, but overall, I'd say just about any factory style choke like that would absolutely be good enough. And it's not exactly what I expected to see really. So definitely a pretty interesting test overall here and one that I guess I'm just gonna leave the results up to you guys and let you decide which one you prefer or which one you like best based on numbers or by looks. Okay, and here's the wads out of those particular shells. From left to right is the cylinder bore all the way up through the full choke on the right. As you can see, they all look pretty much the same except for a little bit of gunpowder residue on them. But the full choke, the pedals did open up a little bit farther than these other three. So I think that full choke is probably hitting the limit of constriction for this shot size and loading and it's starting to actually catch on the wad and squeeze it a little bit too tight. But like I was saying, these are supposedly Hornady's own Versatite wad type of deal, but I just so happen to have this wad which is a federal flight control buckshot load wad. And as you can see, they are virtually identical, really. So it kind of makes sense as to why these perform the way they do, really, comparing them to the flight control wad over here in the purple. But definitely pretty interesting to see what these wads did overall here. All right, y'all, well, what did you think about that performance there? Definitely a little bit on the interesting side and not exactly the results that I was expecting to see. I definitely thought there would be a little bit more noticeable of a difference between the chokes. There was definitely a difference and by the numbers alone, we did get worse as we constricted it a little bit tighter and tighter. So on this one, I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. As always, leave your thoughts in the comments. Is that about what you expected to see for results or were you a little bit surprised? And what choke do you think was actually the best here? Or which one would you prefer? And if you have tested these loads, what has been your results? Have you gotten something similar as well? Let me know down in the comments. But with that being said, I've got a bunch more testing coming y'all's way, so I'm gonna get back to it. As always, we have the channel Instagram as well as the mailbox where you can send things if you'd like. All that information will be in the description if you're interested. But I'm gonna get back to the testing, so I'll see y'all in the next one.